I am here this night to melt your heart. I am here to take your heart into my hands and squeeze out all the coldness and all the darkness. I am among you this night because I've given you a promise that we were going forward in this new year in total triumph. Some of you held on to the darkness in your heart, but tonight I am saying, give it all unto me. You don't have to fear. If you'll give your heart to me, it'll be in my hands forever, and the enemy will not be able to crush it ever again. Satan has a tombstone with your name upon it because he knows as long as he can hold your heart captive, you are dead and not living. But I've come by this little church this night to show you and tell you of my love and my forgiveness, my mercy, my long suffering. And I say unto you, give me your heart. Let me melt all the ice, the coldness, the darkness, everything that's not of me. Let me melt it away so that your heart will beat as my heart beats and we too shall become one. To be my bride, you have to have my heart. We have to be as one in one accord in all areas of our lives. So children, I've come in. I've stepped into the chambers of your heart tonight to relieve you of every burden, every care, everything of darkness. I am here to free you up and to bring you forth as a pure vessel of honor that I can work through. I truly am in this room. And I have truly stepped into the chambers of your heart, the deepest chambers of your heart, so I can start a brand new work within the heart. I am that I am the lover of your soul. And I will not leave you nor forsake you. I hold you tightly and tenderly to my bosom and my love is being poured through you even as I speak to you this night. Come, allow me to do the works that I've stepped down from heaven to do for you. Hold not on to those dark things, please. Hold not on to the doubt and the unbelief Give it all to me. Give it all to me. Battles come and battles go. And I know some battles make you bury, battle weary. But I am always right by your side. And all you have to do is reach up and I'll reach down. And I'll pull you up into my bosom and the battle will fade away and your heart will stay intact, never to be attached to the darkness ever again. You tonight, how thirsty are you? I am here, drink from my well of living waters. You can drink as long as you want to drink. How thirsty are you? How thirsty are you for your healing? How thirsty are you for your deliverance? I am here. 
And I tell you, my children, I've brought all of heaven with me. My healing power is here this night for whatever it is that you need healed of. Don't linger at the pool. Come into the pool. I am passing by this night in this congregation. And I am saying to you, I have all that you have need of. Come, come drink from the well of living waters and you will thirst no more. I promise you. Come and drink, come and drink. Be filled, be filled, be filled. Come and drink. I'm still here. I haven't left. I've come to reside with you forever. Tonight, I am restoring all that the palmer and canker worm has stolen from my children. I have come this night to remove the hold that has been upon your life. And as I removed the hold, total freedom took over. And you will never be the same. You have stepped into the miracle realm of my glory. And in this realm, all things are possible for you who can believe. I accomplished all that I came here to do this night, but I'm not finished. There is so much left undone that I will need to continually come in fellowship with you. The anointing that you care received this night is an anointing that will destroy every yoke. And you will carry this anointing to the nations. I am leading you as I did the Israelite children. And just as I did not leave them when they crossed over, I did not leave you. We are one, you and I. We think as one, we act as one, and we are one. You have built the bridge, and you went over, and now you are ready to bring others across that bridge. You built a bridge of hope and a bridge of love, and now you would take that hope and that love to the lost, even in the house of the Lord. And that hope and that love will compel them to come back into fellowship with their Father. Heaven is so full of my presence that nothing else can exist. And this is what is happening in this house. It is becoming so full of my presence that evil cannot abide. Darkness will not be able to come in and feel comfortable any longer. I have purged my people. I have removed the sin I have cleaned the cup from the inside to the outside and made you holy and pure before a holy God. You have been waiting a long time 
for this day to occur, and now it is upon you. You will understand what happened this night in the few short days ahead as you see miracle after miracle occur wherever you go. Do not think it a small thing that I did here this night, little ones. This is an eternal lasting event that will only grow and expand throughout the land. I came this night to show off, to show the enemy that I love you completely and totally, and that you have passed the endurance test of time, and you are ready to be used as vessels of honor, vessels of purity, and vessels of love. If I were to say to the enemy, have your way, he would say no. Because he has seen that every time he's had his way, you just got stronger and stronger and stronger. He is finished with you. And he is going to move on to others that don't know what you know and, and who have not endured the test of time. When my son Jesus walked this earth, the enemy was all around, but the enemy could not touch him. Why? Because he was anointed with my spirit. He walked in the spirit and he brought truth to the nations. The enemy can't fight against something like that. So here you are tonight, standing tall and standing firm and at attention and all hell is now trembling because it knows that a new army has been released against it and it cannot conquer any longer. As I send you forth this night, I send you forth with great hope, just not hope, but great hope that you will carry to the nations. Yes, much devastation all around, but you know the end. You even know the in-between because I have been revealing my truth unto you. You will need wisdom on how to walk out this new walk. Ask, ask for wisdom as Solomon did and I will give you the wisdom of the learned. You will have all wisdom. I tell you one thing, many more are still on the backside of the desert being trained to come forth to do this mighty works. And I will use you, each one of you, to minister to them as they come forth. You know what it is to conquer fear and walk in faith. And as this new army comes forth, you will use your testimonies and they also will conquer on all sides. Oh, how the heathen are raging, but I am bringing the heathen down and my anointing is destroying the yokes of the dark side. You will see much freedom as you go forth proclaiming victory. For that is what you carry. You carry victory and not defeat. 
You carry hope and not discouragement. You lived it, you breathed it, you ate it. And now you can teach it to my people. No more wandering in the wilderness. Wilderness wandering is over. It's time to step into the freshness and the newness of my heavenly kingdom that I have brought to earth. Touch not my anointed, says my word. And anyone that tries to touch you has touched the apple of my eye. And they are my enemies. So therefore you need not be concerned about the enemy. They are now my enemies. And as you venture forth in these new assignments that I am giving out, you will see victory on all sides. You will have angelic visitations. You will speak to the angels and they will give you direction. You will no longer fellowship with the dark side. For pureness of life has entered into you this night. And you know that you know that you know that no enemy in the dark side can take you out. Do not ever be grieved by what you see around about you. Just know in your heart of hearts that I, the Lord thy God, I already have this covered. And you just keep moving on. All that is transpiring around about you right now, I will remove in the wink of my eye. I am going to tear down the darkness in the government. I am going to replace the president back in his lawful seat. And I am going to destroy all the naysayers. And you will see light once again in the White House in America. For I am going to restore back to America what the enemy has stolen. Dignity, character, peace. Children, you have seen it all. You've seen both sides of the coin. And you will now see my resurrection power working mightily in every area on your behalf. As they flood into my houses, and they will, I will use you with signs, wonders, and miracles to restore. And restore you shall through this mighty anointing that came with the glory. Fear not and fret not, for you are in the hollow of my hand and the enemy cannot touch you. You are fearless. You are bold. You are brave. And you are a comfort to the lost and the dying. Once again, I say unto you this night, I have not left. I'm going to remain here. And I will go with you when you leave. But we go out the door better than we came in. We go out the door with a full confidence that all is well with our souls. Look up, children, look up. The bastard spirit has been destroyed. And I am your father. I am your everlasting father. And I never leave nor forsake my children. Thank you, 
Feel the pressure building up, my little ones. Feel the pressure building up. That is my anointing becoming stronger and stronger and stronger. Paul felt the anointing. Paul carried the glory and he feared nothing. He did not even fear the death at man's hand for he knew that my glory filled his temple. And God just tell me that some of you in here, you're looking for approval from other people and God said, don't look for that because you're not going to get it. The only approval you need, children, is my approval. And I have put my stamp of approval on each one of you. Even before this night. I have provided, provided you with all that you have need of. Now just go. Go like thunder. Go like lightning. And set the captives free. <coughs> Never for one instance think that you are going to fail. Failure is not part of your life. We have settled that once and for all. It's nothing but total victory on all sides. God said, what is it that you need me to do for you? Ask right now, and I will do it. You know, God told us we were coming into 23 with resurrection power. You need to always remember that. For that truly is what we are carrying, resurrection power for the dead, the, even the walking dead. We have the power and authority from on high to use that resurrection anointing to speak life where there's death. Thank you, Father. I just... Uh, do not feel impressed by the Spirit of God to do anything else tonight. No teaching, no nothing. I just, I've been sitting here and God isn't telling me to do anything else. So in reverence to the Holy Spirit, we're not going to do anything else tonight. And I'm going to close. Just, I just thank you, Father, for for everything you did here this night. Father, I especially thank you for the song service. It took you six hours to put it together. But Father God, it's per it was perfect. It, and we truly do thank you for your perfection. We thank you, Father God, that you're so long suffering with us. And that you love us totally and completely. And we take you with us tonight, Father. And we thank your son, Jesus, for what he sacrificed. So we could sit here tonight in your presence and receive all that you have for us. And in Jesus' name, we truly do thank you. Amen. You know, don't don't sell God short. He just told me to tell you don't sell him short. His arm can extend as far as you can believe. 
And he also saying that the persecutions that you've had to endure over the years, you're going to be like Paul and say, it was well worth it. Because the fullness of time has surely come upon my children.